she uh I was at a party at Diddy Crib in in LA. This was uh Diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib, like the the influx of people he had put them out. But he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. Right. Oh, campaign and say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. The loose squad, and we back with more Diddy news, breaking news. As you can see in the pictures, the feds are starting to leak more and more and more stuff that, that went down at this um these freak offs, guys. And we got the list. We got the list. But before we get into the list, guys, we want to talk about what the baby said, because everybody really worried about this picture right here. Everybody wanna incorporate Jay-Z into this. Everybody wanna incorporate Jay and Beyonce. I want y'all to know Jay and Beyonce work for a different type of jewel. They work for a different type of devil. Alright? They don't all work for the same devils. But um the reason why this is important though, because conspiracy is not about what you do. It's not about the things you do. It's more so about the things you know of. And if Jay-Z know of what Puff Daddy is doing, then he's just as guilty as Diddy. You know what I mean? And it's very easy to prove if he know. You know what I mean? It's crazy because it's by association with this with this conspiracy thing. So let's get into what the baby said. And he said this a long time ago, guys. He said this a long time ago. It's, a lot of these videos is just not aging well. The 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 footprints of disaster was was left. Hold up. Not the baby coming out to expose Beyonce for being at a Diddy freak off party. Child, this entire mess with Diddy just keeps going deeper and deeper because a snippet of the baby's interview with Shannon Sharp from a few months ago, in which he spilled major tea about Beyonce and Jay Z being at Diddy's freak off party, is now going viral, and people are speculating that Jay was paying. Beyonce out to Diddy for their business deals. There have been rumors going around for a hot minute now about Jay treating Beyonce like Diddy was treating Cassie. But people were in denial about it because of the power couple image that Jay and Beyonce had in public. Anyway, he keeps Beyonce up for days on end to make her indulge in depraved activities. The crazy thing is, even outside of the baby, a lot of other people who closely work with Beyonce have also come out to spill the tea about this. But it took the baby of all people to get folks to wake up from their sleep and clock what's been really going on. Now, I'm sure most of y'all know this by now, but Diddy's reign as the villain in the industry has officially come to an end after Homeland Security busted him and threw him in jail. And as we speak, he's been denied bail twice in the span of 48 hours by two separate judges despite literally offering a bond of 50 million dollars and sacrificing all of his properties his mom's properties and the passport of every single one of his kids the judges are really standing on business and they want that demon to stay in his maggot infested cell till that trial starts as if that wasn't bad enough he's facing up to 100 years in jail and even his defense team is unsure about exactly how they're going to get him out of this. Now, when it comes to the exact details of the arrest, it turns out that during the raid of his house six months ago, they found firearms, ammunition, and more than a thousand bottles of lubricant. During a recent press briefing by U.S. prosecutor Damian Williams, he said they also found three semi-automatic with defaced serial numbers and a drum magazine. Prosecutors also accused Diddy of creating a criminal enterprise whose members, under his direction, engaged in forced labor, kidnapping, arson, and bribery. He abused and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his desires, as well as striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. But this is where things started getting even crazier, because the prosecutors explicitly said that Diddy wasn't running this enterprise on his own, and that he had other celebrities and other powerful people who were heavily involved in these criminal activities as well. This information was revealed in his indictment, and I quote, For decades, Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy, aka P. Diddy, aka Diddy, aka APD, aka Love, the defendant and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his 
desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. Now, I need y'all to really pay attention to this part. They said, to do so, Combs relied on the employees, resources, and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Now, the prosecutors didn't explicitly reveal the names of these people, since they are still gathering evidence against them to go to trial with. But this statement opened up the door for a whole lot of speculation as to who those people are. And as y'all can already guess, the names that were at the top of everybody's list were Jay-Z and Beyonce. The rumors about Beyonce and Jay being involved got even worse when a clip of the baby getting interviewed on Shannon Sharp's show a few months ago started going viral. And in this interview, DaBaby spilled some tea that nobody was expecting to hear. He opened up about the time that he met Beyonce and Jay-Z at one of Diddy's industry parties at Diddy's house. He held back on going into details about what exactly the party was about. But he said there were some powerful people there and that Beyonce actually walked up to him to introduce herself, almost as if she was trying to flirt her way into something more than just a conversation. DaBaby also said that Diddy he kicked out all the other non-important people from the room, leaving only him, Beyonce, Jay, and a few other high-profile people in there. According to the baby, Diddy started to get a little touchy and even put his hands around his neck. She, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in in LA. This was uh, this was this was the beginning of of 2020. You know what I mean? Uh, Diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib. Like the the influx of people, he had put him out, but he had he had a uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. Right. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and you know maybe about maybe about fifteen others, you know, right. Jay Z and Beyonce being, you know, two of the other 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 fifteen people in the room, so that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was in right. at the moment, you know. And she came over and, and introduced herself to me like as if she had to. Didn't right. Beyonce, cut it out. But I'm a big fan of your work. You know what I'm saying? Whoop the whoop, and that was just dope. That was dope as hell to me, man. That was that was dope. This sent the internet into a frenzy and had a lot of people giving Beyonce the side eye. One person said, "Oh, she came over and introduced herself to you. The Beyonce introduced herself to you. Ooh." We wake it up. Another person said, You let that man put his arm around you, the baby? Of course, he took a liking to you. It wasn't even about your music, it was in other ways. And of course, Beyonce did, she weird herself, and Jay Z even weirder. Everybody who went to Diddy's parties is guilty. And you know, the baby not gonna lie, y'all. He hella credible. This man is untouchable. Peep his behavior. Peep his behavior. This man damn near beat somebody up in the parking lot. You know it's him. And he got it wiped away. He got it wiped away. He, You know what I mean? So he a part of it. The baby a part of it. So you know he ain't lying. He just run off at the mouth. Remember, he also got in trouble a while back running off at the mouth with the LBGT. Remember, he was talking about the LGBTQ agenda and their programming and... They don't pay you to intertwine these agendas. They're paying you, the baby, to keep the people ratchet and dumb, to keep the people distracted, stagnant and stupid. So when you taking their money, getting paid for that, and then you cross the lines and enter in their other little, their other little woo-ha, you gonna have a problem. And that's how celebrities get removed from their platform. And we haven't heard the baby since, since he sat here on Shay Shay and ran his mouth. Some people even went as far as speculating that Jay was out here f***ing out Beyonce to Diddy. Now, some of y'all might not know this, but there have been allegations about Jay-Z keeping Beyonce out in order to control her and have her doing things she wouldn't usually do if she was sober. Not only that, but Jay also allegedly puts his hands on her when she goes out of order. Now, I'm going to disagree with you because you modern woman and got that part all messed up, ma'am. All messed up. When she out of whack, and if she out of whack, I'm going to put her back in the whack. So what are you talking about? And we already know y'all idea of control. We know what y'all, if y'all don't control it, then y'all getting controlled. 
and that's not even the case. So just just miss me with that. Let's please stop it. Let's let's knock it all the way off, yo. It's apples and oranges. Diddy and Jay is apples and oranges. Now Jay know Diddy apples and Diddy know Jay oranges. Yes. But knock it off, y'all. The rumors were actually started by her ex-bodyguard, Uncle Ron, who used to work for her during the early stages of her career. But I'll say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Now, I don't know about y'all, but Jay allegedly keeping her on is very similar to what Diddy was doing to Cassie. If y'all remember, Cassie said the only way she was able to indulge in these freak-offs is if she was on because she wasn't able to do it sober. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Jaguar Wright also stepped into the chat a few months ago, and she had also accused Jay of keeping Beyonce on substances for the same reasons that Uncle Ron was claiming. Jay-Z, why, why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> and then there was this viral video of Beyonce looking zoned out at a basketball game with Jay. She could barely keep her eyes open and kept slowly swinging her head from side to side to stay awake. Her PR team at the time tried to get ahead of the situation by claiming she was just tired from her rehearsals, but nobody was buying it. Shortly after this, Beyonce's assistant told Media Takeout that Jay was putting his hands on Beyonce. The assistant said, Seems that for a while, he's had a problem with keeping his hands to himself. Now, I've never seen him just flat out strike B, but too many times I've seen him shove and push her. At first, I thought that it was just a little horseplay between the two. But once I saw how embarrassed B was to be manhandled in front of me in St. Tropez, I realized that it was no joke. I've been Beyonce's assistant and friend for a while now, and I've always wanted to say something, but I never felt it was my place. He treats Beyonce like she's an object, not a person. Chell, it's unclear how far Jay-Z has dragged Beyonce into all this mess, but it's about to get exposed and no amount of fame or power is gonna be able to stop him, especially when Diddy's trial starts. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this, like this person who said, Beyonce and Jay going down next. It seems like the elites of Hollywood are having a downfall. I love B, but unfortunately, she is caught up in the mess by even being married to Jay. It's been so much said about how he has Beyonce on and everything. My thing is, I'm not surprised B was there at a random Diddy party. Y'all always try to separate y'all faves from the BS, but y'all seem to forget they live that Hollywood life. You can't trust anyone in Hollyweird. Most of your faves have kept silent about all that ish. Another person said, Jay-Z was good friends with R. Kelly and now Diddy. Seems like a pattern to me, and I don't believe Beyonce was just some innocent bystander through all this. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Beyonce allegedly being at Diddy's freak off party? And do y'all think Jay Z was her out like the baby is insinuating? What part of y'all is hateful? And I just don't understand y'all people, yo. I don't be understanding y'all people. And honestly, you know, y'all done already sold us on a wax story about a man drugging a woman. Come to find out, it was the woman doing it to the man. The woman put the man on. We know these women walk around here with low self-esteem and they can't do nothing without getting drunk or without getting a buzz. So let's knock it all the way off, man. Let's stop it. This is why it's spooky because when you a person that have found love because you have done the work on yourself and then you surrounded by a bunch of people who can't stand to see two people minding their business, doing what they want to do. Because, yes, I do believe Jay-Z went to them parties and because he can get some new fish hole, he allowed her to do whatever she was going to do because she was going to do what she was going to do regardless. I don't, I don't understand y'all people. Y'all yo. y'all people was weird. And then y'all call them weird. But y'all be the weird ones, y'all. But, um... Let's take it to the comment section because I already know I, I got a lot of people that's going to disagree with my point of view. It's just my opinion. You can have your own opinion. But let's take it to the comment section, guys, and click the video that's going to pop up right now because we got it. We got the best Diddy news, the best breaking Diddy news around. Let's get it, y'all. Click into that link.